Hi, I am Pradeep. Today I am just going to tell you how to register your Focusrite audio interface. It can be any Focusrite audio interface. The method will remain the same. So first connect your audio interface to the laptop or a computer. Then open your browser and type Focusrite and enter. Then click on first link that is Focusrite.com. Then click on support and then click on get started. And then in the first step, you have to select the product range which you have purchased. So I purchased the Scarlett third generation. And then in the step two, you have to select the product. So I purchased the Scarlett Solo. Then whichever the product you are using, that will show over here. So this is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo third generation. And then click on let's get you started. Then you will going to get like this interface. You have to scroll down. If you want to read this, then you can read. And then click on I want to register my Scarlett Solo 3rd generation. Which your audio interface you want to register, it will show over here. Then you are going to get like this interface. Before registering your audio interface, you have to create an Focusrite account. You have to put your first name, last name, email address, password. Then you have to confirm your password by putting the same password below. Then you have to select the country or region. And then you have to tick mark both the boxes and also tick mark I am not robot. And then click on create a new account. So I having already Focusrite account. So I am not creating the new account. So I am directly logging in. So I firstly put my email address and password and getting logging in. So after clicking on create new account, you will going to get like this interface. Your product is also going to show over here, which you are going to register. Here you have to put your serial number. You will going to get serial number on Focusrite box or in the documents or on the audio interface. After putting your serial number, click on set serial number. Then you will going to get like this interface. You can download your Focusrite control over here also or you can download Focusrite control at the end also after completing the registration process. But wait, don't download right now because it requires to restart your computer. You may miss the remaining steps of the registration. First complete your registration process. This is the installing process you can read if you want. Scroll down and click on continue journey. Then you will going to get like this interface. Just click on next. There are four steps are here. When these steps are get complete, it turns into green. So our first step of account creation has been done. Just scroll down and click on next. Don't click on get focus right control. Just click on next. You have to choose how you are going to listen the music which you are going to create by using focus right audio interface. So I am going to listen on headphones only. If you are going to listen on headphones as well as on speakers, then click on right and then click on next. Again scroll it down and click on next. So here you have to choose which software or DAW you will going to use to make music. Whether you are going to use regular DAW which you are using earlier or you are going to use Alberta Live or Pro Tool first or you are just going to use audio interface for listening music. I am clicking on first option because I have already installed the DAW whichever I want. You can click on the option according to your needs and then click on next. Here if you don't know to how to connect your audio interface to your DAW then you can click on first option. In this case the DAW which they are going to show you it may be a different from your DAW. Your DAW may be have a different process of connecting. So I know how to connect the audio interface to my DAW so I am choosing the second option. Then click on next. Here you can read the Focusrite control user guide if you want you can read and then click on next. Here you have to click on first option and then click on next. Here you are getting the two options. If you are clicking on discover Scarlet, then you can read the small articles about the Scarlet and other things. If you want, you can read it. Otherwise, you can click on go to my account. Here we will going to download our Focusrite control. Just scroll down and click on this arrow. You have to download the latest versions of Focusrite control. In year 2022, the Focusrite control 3.11.0 is the latest one. If you are window user, then download it for window. If you are Mac user, then download it for Mac. So I am using window. So I am downloading it for window. So it's getting download. After getting download, just click on it and install it. So if you are not getting the downloaded file over here, then check your download folder where all downloaded software are showing and install it. Then like this pop-up will going to come, you have to click on next. 
then you have to click on I accept the agreement and click on next click on next click on next and then click on install the installing process will start so here you have to select the first option by default it's coming if it is not coming then you have to select the first option to install the Focusrite control on your computer and then click on finish your computer will going to get restart if you don't want to restart your computer now then you can click on second option and click on finish whenever you will going to restart your computer automatically Focusrite control will going to get installed on your computer after restarting your computer like this icon you will going to get on your computer desktop screen just click on it and open it whenever you are opening this software your Focusrite audio interface must be connected to your computer otherwise nothing will show over here as I have two inputs to my Scarlett solo audio interface it's showing two inputs over here that is analog 1 and analog 2 if you are having more inputs to your audio interface then it will show more inputs over here the function which is shown over here the same function you can handle on Focusrite audio interface also like turning on air mode shifting from line to instrument etc here output routing is not showing so here some settings are there which you can see if you want I hope you like this video thank you for watching this out